Hello and welcome to Williams Crawford Passion for Porsche. I'm Adrian and as we're filming this on a Wednesday, it's a walkabout Wednesday. Today I've got some, oh we always have got lovely lovely Porsche here, but today I've really got a wiggle on because we got some great great cars that are not going to last and you know if we don't film them now you'll never see them again so um, come with me uh, there's two of my all-time favorites really um, and uh, we got another bunch to show you and just special stuff have a look well as we move through the showroom one of the things that I still enjoy is the fact that we've got Porsche that appeal to all different types of budget. So Boxsters are a really good place for people to begin. And uh, so we've had them at 10, 12,000 pounds for really nice cars. This one that I'm stood beside, I've only just noticed it. It's a 68,000 mile 987 in a what looks like um, Atlas Grey, I should think, and it's 12 and a half thousand pound, and that's just super good, because as with most of our retail cars, it'll be checked, warranted, and, uh, and inspected, so, uh, and we know what we're doing. Anyhow, enough about that. Let's move on. Funnily enough, another really, really nice low mileage Boxster. So, start off this journey I'm really just showing you my favorites. Um, a crayon, so hope you can see it. It's sort of like a gray color. Um, 991.2, so generation two, Carrera 4S, a four wheel drive with its PDK gearbox and a bunch of really nice things, really good specification. Um, very nice wheels sunroof and I thought today you might just get a picture of how these cars sound very very different so we'll be going through things that are classic and modern and of course this one is only quite a recent car Fabulous sound to them and mighty, mighty quick. PDK gearbox, more buttons than you know what to do with, sport exhaust system. Let's see how that goes. They cannot argue with the way that they sound. And this is a do it all car, really. A do it all 911. Sunroof, beautiful finish on the leather. I'll see fabulous nav and sound system and things like that. A 2018 car done 20,000 miles and this one's here on sale. Very difficult car to duplicate. Also on sports seats. So that's one that I very much like. Now completely different notion. I want to show you this because this is um, it's come in on our consignment or brokerage. Um, it was sold within days. Now 993 obviously but it's a 993 RS uber rare RS will be the, the performance version, as you probably know, with thinner glass, lighter doors, split rim speed line for Porsche wheels, bigger brakes, aluminium lid, and inside, this car's got a really cool specification. Well, of course, 993 RS's, it was all about performance, all about saving weight, adding speed, 
and you had only the things that you needed. So simple door cards, wind up windows. I'm sure Generation X don't know how to use them. And this one, the story goes that the gentleman who ordered it new had had a 964 RS or 993 RS before and his wife refused to go in the bucket seats. So he ordered a normal sports seat for the passenger and his Recaro bucket for the driver. Top man, don't let the wife stop you if you really want one. So 993 RS, just a gorgeous car. Now that's in polar silver and it's an eye-wateringly expensive car now. Now, just behind it, it's this. It's a 996 GT3, but a modified car, more horsepower, Mante Racing um, conversion on it. If you're looking for excitement on a Sunday morning, to frighten your friend or yourself you'd like to go to the track or across Europe with it it'll do any of those things right next stop this now this was a hundred and nine thousand pounds brand new and it's a one owner car, 109,000 back at the end of August 2001. These had a top speed, I think at the time, 191 miles an hour, 192 miles an hour. They are a sensational car. And this one really is one that you'd want in your garage. So a 996 Turbo. Four-wheel drive, of course. Great spec and great condition. Now, if I fire this up, subtle, uber fast, sensational performance in any conditions, and refined. These are good cars. This one's for sale for a little under 50. I think it's 48995. And I cannot see how that would be wrong today. And it's to say, it's a one owner with a really, really good service record. Uh, let me find you some other things. So. This 964, right hand drive. Can you hear it? Oh, I really, really like these. This isn't an RS version, it's a normal 964, well it's nothing like normal, it's a 964 C2 manual that's had a huge investment to make it significantly quicker and more exciting than a standard car. It's got the Recaro pole positions, it's been uh, remapped, it's on KW suspension, it's got the lightweight clutch and flywheel. It's got the lightweight door cards. Cup one wheels. To all intents and purposes, it looks like a 964 RS. It's a, a, probably about a half the price of one, but it's about 95% the experience. It's light, it's fast, it's really engaging. 964 C2 manual, one of my sweet spots, especially a modified, optimized example. And this one's really, really clean car. It um, has had very, very good investment and a nice little touch on it. 
It was signed by Mark Webber um, because an owner was um, involved in, uh, in Formula One. Really cool car. Great to drive. Okay. So, that's one of my all-time favourites. And this is uber rare 996 gt2 now they made very very few of these going to refer to my notes and this one is a club sport specification and it's generally accepted that there might have been 16 one six club sports so sort of makes it really collectible now casual observer it looks broadly the same as a 996 turbo but it's far from it these cars had um, 462 horsepower um, were lighter two-wheel drive no um, um, stability control these cars did have a bit of a reputation and Porsche offered them as the ultimate performance road car Recaro seats part of the club sports spec red belts harnesses cage this car's done 19,000 miles now, we did hop in a 996 Turbo earlier, and this is a 996 GT2. So it shares the engine, but the engine's got more horsepower. It's got ceramic brakes. This is all about performance. Just an unbelievably good car. I love these. And uh, all the little things that they did, it was 18% better power to weight ratio than 996 turbo and those darn things are fast enough already really really special car so very very rare do these come on the market i'm super pleased to have that car and it's a really really nice example once upon a time these were very different values and um, you could buy them for little more than a 996 turbo cost but of course you know they're now it's a a, um, a car for a col little collection or an enthusiast it's got a much better place in the market than it would have had when it was new when it was new a 996 turbo might have made a lot more sense but um, now, the exclusivity, the driver appeal, the performance and the rarity, it's just really special. One thing to note is the air dam, front bumper package, it's different. The vents in there. Um, beautiful ceramics, just a fabulous car so that one's on sale here here now i'd love to be able to show you around all the rest of the um cars here but there's never quite enough time in these videos to do so for the last little bit of this we're going to cut and go into the restoration department and see what they're doing in there Okay, well, they don't know that I'm coming in and um, we'll see what's actually happening. I'm seeing a 964 there for a little bit of restoration. Group 4 rally car shell, 3.2, lemon colored car, some are yellow. It's a bit of a special one we're building. Our 67 short wheelbase is all but complete. We've got a 67 over there, which is going for a project. A little 72 replica. Boxster race car. 356 heading for 
restoration. A sort of interesting um, point on this car in that the customer had bought it, been advised it was fine. Actually, when he brought it to us to be inspected, it needed quite a bit of help. And just a point of interest, if, uh, if you like this old, old stuff, is that this evidently was the color of the top of the dash and the A posts on most of them. And, uh, but silver was the original color of this car. No ivory. I'm gonna risk taking you into the dirty shop. All a bit noisy and dusty in here. But plenty of work going on and uh, another couple of projects. Well, that's essentially it for Walkabout Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed the quick overview of the cars. There's just too many Porsche here to, um, to go through each one. Uh, soon I'll be doing something on the various 356. If you know of something interesting that you think would suit us, you know, that uh, we could buy, please, please get in touch. We can always find a bit of space in here. And if you uh, want some help selling or need some help with maintenance, then again, pick up the phone. Be delighted to see you. I'm Adrian Crawford. Thanks very much for watching.